Hello, this is Casper again from Dominus Mortalis. I am here just to give a quick tutorial about how to install Star Pass and also how to get it working. So, let's get started. Um, yes, this is my character screen on Star Wars. Uh, I'm just going to bring over my browser a minute. Oh, just get hold of it. There we go. So, where you want to go? What you want to do is you want to go to um, ixpass.com. And then you want to get Star Pass for a 32 bit version. I don't know if you can change that anyway. Uh, yeah, just download it. Boom, I've already done that. So mine is, of course, already uh, working. And you just install it like you would normally. I'm not going to go through that or uh, here because I already have it installed. And it's just click next like you would always do on any other tutorial. Anyway, let me just open up my FTP thingy here. I have in my programs on my desktop, I have a folder called programs, uh, and then I have star pass, so I'll click that. Just minimize that, and that a second. I was just going to make sure the version is up to date, and all that is good. Right, here we have star pass. So first thing what we're going to do is, we're going to go to uh, rating, and then go to settings, and then we're going to go to general. And we're just going to make, sh we're just going to have a good look here, and see where it is log directory. And you see here it's a C, Casper Anderson, blah blah, my name, uh, documents, Star Wars, The Old Republic, forward slash, uh, backslash combat logs. Uh, hopefully this should be where yours is as well, so if you go to choose, then to The Old Republic here, so there should be something called combat logs. If not, you might have to create that yourself. Uh, all this should be, you should uh, save as is. Rating, we'll go to the minute, overlays, you can uh, customize these with damage and healing, uh, whatever you want. Although I, I like it the way it is, there are some timers built into Star Pass, which you can check. There's a raid break. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. There's some uh, built-in ravages: Rugine raids, Talkin raids, and Talk Wookie raids. When he uses that, some Dread Palace, for example, when Bestia arrives, the last Bestia, last monster, Soft in rage, all this stuff. Uh, a lot of really good stuff. And uh, then you can uh, upload your log, as far as I know, um, to. Um, what is it called? Yeah, to the server. Starrix was the last character I used, I think. Otherwise, that's a really big coincidence. Anyway, so that should be all said and done. I'm going to create a raid group uh, because the one called Yababa, our, which was our old guild name, now it doesn't work. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go uh, name. I'm going to call it uh, Domin Dominis. I'm not going to put Mortalis. And then the password um, will be. Um, well, yeah, what should we call it? Um, uh, Mortalis1138, for example. Uh, and then admin password, which you can, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that later when you can't see, but the admin password uh, will allow a raid wide announcement and more, blah blah blah, which makes sure that I'm the admin. I'm just going to create this now and I'll delete it later and create it with an admin. So I'm going to go to create group. Okay, I'm just using okay, I'll just use one, two, three, four for now, and then I'll create. <sighs> Please fix. Okay, what do I fix? B A B C one, two, three, four. I don't know. Okay, th that's good. Right, it's created. Now, what you would want to do if you were if you'd installed Star Pass and you wanted to join, you'd have to go here, and you'd have to put in the same as I put. And of course, you, if you're not from Dominus Mortalis, but another um, guild and perhaps watching this video for some other reason, then uh, you would just put in the information and your guild leader or any officer from your guild should provide this information. So for us it would be Dominus and Mortalis with capital M1138. Superb. So if I go to raiding now, and then you can see I have Dominus. Then I'll be able to press raid, but that's because I've set one more thing up and I'm going to show you actually two things. Uh, I'm just going to log into my Emilax a minute. Turn off the music, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear me. Right, we loaded in. Oh, I turned on the music there. That's a bad habit. I'll just loop that a minute. I need it. Um, right, while we are here, the yeah, the two things I want to show is one, you want to go to preferences, and then you want to go to combat logging and make sure that enable combat logging to file is enabled so it, it'll, normally it will be like this you'll press it and you'll press apply 
Second thing you want to make sure is that when you go to uh, preferences again, then you want to go to graphics, then you want to make sure that this is not set to full screen or windowed, but probably full screen windowed. And that means that normally if you're in here and you want to alt tab out, it'll take a long time because it has to change the, so to speak, overlay. Whereas here it's just, you know, a window that's without a border. Uh, so I can just flip out and do whatever I want. So, yeah. So anyway, now that that's all done, what we can do is we can start, we can open up Star Pass, for example, and then now we should be able to go to Interface, and then uh, Combat Timers. You can see over here now, a little window that I can drag and drop and resize. I think I can resize it. I don't, no, I can't, but I can, I can definitely like, go like this. It has opened, and I like to put it up here, in my space. And then I'll be able to see all logging that's happened here. But of course, before that, we need to start Star Pass and or tell it to start logging. So we open it again and we press RAID, not pass. Like well, you can use pass, but if you're in a RAID group, you want to use RAID. And of course, make sure that you've actually selected a RAID group. So press RAID. Let's just say wait, and both should be green. And there's just no content table. If yours is yellow and it says waiting for input or waiting for com or can't find combat log file or waiting for combat log or anything like that then it's probably because this is your first time and you've never had a um, a combat log okay I thought you were taking me a minute but then that means you have not, don't have a combat log yet which is because you've never actually done anything um, let's find a monster here so if I go here just kill it and I should be able to go to star pass now and yep, you can see that my DPS was 4.1, which doesn't really say much because the monster died very fast. It was four seconds, and I didn't really use all my burst abilities. So yeah, that's really great. And also, if you are a, um, if you're the person who created this group, which I am, I would be able to say uh, pull. So that means I could be pulling in eight seconds, and they'll actually count down. Five, four, three, two, one. So that doom would mean now we pull them on, pull the boss, for example. Now we start. That's very smart. Uh, and also, there's a break. So let's have a break of uh, 15 minutes. I don't know how you actually configure that. Um, I think you have to go into something like raiding. Uh, our raid pull seconds, raid pull minutes. Oh, we'll set that to zero and then set that to five. A raid pull, okay, yeah, we'll pull it, okay, five seconds, and, no, that's the pull, and that's the break, so, five minute break, uh, we could turn off the break now, I think, and then we could turn it on again, and say, right, five minutes break. That's very smart, but that's only if you're the owner of the, uh, channel, or of the, uh, Star Pass group. So, yeah, that is actually all there is to Star Pass, um, if you have any problems with this, then you are, of course, welcome to contact me, if you're in my guild, or if you're, uh, not, but on the... Tomb of Freedom NAT server, you're of course welcome to contact me on, for example, this character, Emilax. Um, and also, all of you from Dominus Mortalis, you can contact me on our website, and I'll answer any questions I can, both there and in-game. Uh, but please, you know, do do try si and do some things first, because I don't have the time all day to answer everyone's questions, so si try and see if you can get it to work. If you can't, fair enough, I'll give a helping hand. Um, that's it for this tutorial, I'll be making a couple more on other subjects, but at least thanks for watching, and have a good Star Wars play.